What's going on with everybody? It is your boy Eric, aka Young God, coming to you live in the pink dungeon. Give it to you, real rugged. I am a little tired, so please excuse that. But I'm back here with another album review. This is Gemini Rights by Steve Lacey. Um, I don't think I've ever reviewed a Steve Lacey project on here. I found out about him in 2017. Shout out Spencer McMullen. He sent me his music back then. It was like, man, this guy's crazy. You got to check him out. And I've been listening to him ever since. Had no idea this was dropping, but when it dropped, I was like, all right, I'm here. I guess I got to listen to it. So, hey, man, without any further ado, brought to you by Pizza Hut. Let's do it, man. Um, first track, Static. I thought that was a pretty good Thought that was a pretty good uh, intro, a little, little good opener, man. And then when you're looking at yourself, then I'm feeling the field of lies. Are you really gonna snort the coke? But I'm not known as a field of noise. What do you say? Looking for a bitch, cause I'm bored with boys. <laughs> Is that how that bag? Is that how that bag works? That reminds me of when I was doing a public interview and I asked, uh, "Do black men cheat?" And somebody said, "Yeah." And I was like, "Why? Why do people cheat?" And he said, "I don't know. Boredom." <laughs> As if a nigga just wake up one day like, oh, man, nothing to do today, man. I'm gonna cheat my bitch. <laughs> so is that how that works, man? A nigga, Steve Lace just wake up like, oh, man. He getting the boogers out of his eyes. Shit, man. I don't, wanna, I don't like niggas no more. I'm go fuck a bitch. <laughs> is that how that works, man? Uh, but yeah, I love this song, man. I love when he switched it up to the, the, something's turned me off. Smoking made me... <coughs> Thought that was fire. Um, yeah, I, I love his singing. I heard any guy with the cause I'm lonely. When you did that, that was really fire. Um, I thought thought he did a really good job on his intro. I like static. And then we go to Helmet. This is where we get a little bit more groovy. This is a very groovy, funky type of album in general. And I feel like this uh, is kind of the start of it. The ooh, I'm in a ooh, I got a feel. Say what the hell, I'm in a dun, 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 I got the fun, dun, dun, ooh, I done, dun, dun, dun. Ah, I thought this was a really funky song, and low key, a lot of this album remind me of Sly. You feel me, Sly and the Family Stone? Because if you listen to that Riot album, I think that 1971, there's a lot of that on this album, and I feel like Helmet is one of them songs where it's like, man, I thought this was this thought it was damn Sly Junior for a second, and it kind of made me wonder. But I wonder if Sly was you feel me around today. I wonder what that would sound like him working with with Steve Lacey because there's a lot of that on that album or on this album, and uh, I thought this was a great song. And then we lead into my favorite or one of my favorite at least on this album, um, which literally sounds like it came from that Riot album in 1971 by Sly and Family Stone. If you have not heard the album, go listen to it if you like this because man this is a beautiful song and bro when he got in that gemini i'm a myth and i'm a legend keep pulling in bro this is such a fire song bro uh dylan what do you say dylan the present dylan the present i don't know i don't know that's some slide junk right there bro i was like okay i didn't expect us to get in this funky bag right here man you feel me and then he got into that that oh i know myself my sins dug my pit then i fell in Pull the trigger, kill the bow. Lessons learned, but truth get old. I don't know. Little laughing, little unpleasant. I don't know. That's that fire right there, and it. Bro, what, nah, man? This is probably my favorite song off of here because of just how different it is. Nothing really sounds like this today. I would say this specific song. It's a very, very, very cool sound. Slide them. They was ahead of their time. So for him to kind of get in that bag, man, 
man, I could play this song back to back to back to back and not get not get uh, tired of it. And then he modernized it too, so it's not like he just stealing they sound. Because when he gets to that single with the auto tune, and then he goes back into that. Ooh, I know myself, my skin. Rolling Stone, don't crawl back in. Daddy's falls, they fell on me. Break the curse of sweet relief I, those are my favorite parts of the song that that oh i know that part and then the still in the person still in the person though i don't know man and the production is just so lovely bro like i said it sounds like it's from that era with the instrumentation in the background the chef's kiss bro perfect song man and then we go to buttons buttons i wrote down that this sounds like a song from that last mgmt album but if it was niggified that's exactly what i wrote down that's how i feel about that song that song is really fire um if you also have not heard that last mg mgmt album what are you doing go listen to it um i love just i think just like from the simps that come in they remind me of it uh the stuff he's doing in the background with the boom and then just the melodies remind me of something you hear on that. Like that, that sounds like some MGMT type stuff, but he put it in his own voice. You feel me? I love when artists can... I don't know, be inspired by somebody. I don't even, I doubt he's probably inspired by them uh, in, on this song. But just in general, I love when an artist can be inspired, but put it in their own voice. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, it's almost like writing an essay. When you write an essay, when you paraphrasing something, you feel me? You don't post to write it how they wrote it. You post to put what they wrote and summarize it in your own words, in your own voice. If you par, if you don't paraphrase it, you, you, and you just say exactly what they say and don't put no quotation marks and give them credit. What they call that plagiarizing. A lot of niggas be plagiarizing. I respect when a nigga could paraphrase something, be inspired by something, you feel me, but put his own twist onto it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he did that a few times on his album, man. I feel like Buttons was one of them, man. Fire, 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 fire song, man. Um, what else we got? Uh, Bad Habits. Now, I wrote down, this sounds like a Cal Rogger song. If you don't know, Juski, Juski does skits, and he, like, does his white frat boy voice. Where he's like, Cal Rogger, dude. And I don't know what Steve Lacey talking voice sounds like, but he sounds more black on certain songs than he sounds like a white boy in other songs. Like, Bad Habits, he legit sounds like a white boy. The You feel me? What do you say? Uh... <laughs> Uh, I bite my tongue, it's a bad habit, uh, my dear. Like, the way he sings, he sounds like a white boy. I don't know if I'm tripping or not, but that's, is that how he usually sounds? I don't remember his voice sounding like that. Um, yeah, this is fire so though, man. Um, what do you say? Uh, I wish I knew you wanted me. I wish you knew. I wish you knew you wanted me. I wish I knew. I wish I knew I are you wanting me. I wish you knew. I wish I knew. Excuse me, dude. I wish I knew you wanted me. <laughs> hey, it's okay. It's second for like the way that he's singing. What do you say? Can I bite your tongue like my bad habit? <laughs> I've been walking around singing in that voice literally all day, but <laughs> can I bite your tongue like my bad habit? Cow rugger. Yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, I wish you knew. Or excuse me, I wish I knew you wanted me. I wish. <laughs> okay, I'll I keep going with this. I love the song, but it's such a different voice from Mercury. He don't sound like that to me. You feel me? He sound like when he doing the, ooh, I wish I knew my skin. Like he don't sound like, I wish I knew. So he got in a completely different Blink-182 Kyle Rogger mashup bag, man. Fire song, no. Oh, uh, and then we go to Together, a uh, little interlude featuring Matt Marshes. The, the, twingling, twingling in the stars. And then just a little, little nice little interlude. Nothing too much crazy. Uh, it was a nice little breakup. And then we go to Cody Freestyle, and if you're a battle rap fan, if you ever heard of Emerson Kennedy, his rapping voice sounds like Emerson Kennedy. Um, I thought this was a cool song. Uh, he was talking about a nigga meat feeling like a cannon or something. I don't, I'm not for sure what that means. I actually don't know what that means, but apparently nigga got a, a, a cannon full of meat stick. You know what I'm saying? So I guess you, hey, if, 
it's a crazy, crazy uh, comparison right there. Um, but yeah, this is a cool song. I really had too much to say about Cody Freestyle. Uh, I thought he sounded uh, nice on here, though, for sure. And then we go to Amber. This sounds like he performed this in a, um, what do you call it? Like in a 1920s Harlem Renaissance jazz club. Boom, 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 boom. Like the way he's talking at the very beginning. Yes. We are sitting here watching, looking, listening. Like the way it just sounds like some of you were here with the piano in the background. I thought his singing was really good on here. Um, I guess I never want you no more. I wish I never met you no more. I wish I never met you no more. <laughs> hey, man. I thought this was a really good song. Um, Very good singing on here. Like I said, I feel like his singing has improved. Uh, uh, tell me if I'm wrong or not. But Amber definitely was a song that got stuck in my head just because how catchy it is. I thought it was very beautiful from the way he was singing. Um. Yeah, man, just the, the 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 choir thing in the background. Um, yeah, man, shout out to shout out to Steve Lacey, man. He really came through with a very solid album, bro. And he's trying different types of sounds. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I never met you no more. I wish I never met you no more. <laughs> fire, 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 man. Uh, then we go to Sunshine featuring Fouché. I've been listening to this girl's music for a little minute, and I still don't know how to pronounce her name. I think it's Fouché, though. Um, I thought this was a really good song. Uh, I like the video for this. Uh, what do you say? Uh, Sam, what do you say? Uh, Sam, Sam, my ex, like my name ain't Steve. <laughs> dun, dun, boom, like you like McQueen. Fire, and then she got with the singing with the and I'm she killed it. They were just swagging on here, man. I thought this was a very, very, very good song. Also, I did not touch on the beat switch on bad habits. That beat switch was crazy the way he went back into that. I mean, bro, he is bro, he's cooking on this album, bro. That that beat switch on bad habits. That was a problem right there, man. Um, and then lastly, we get to uh, Give You the World, which is different from every song on here because this sounds like a damn, damn Peebo Bryson type song. And it's very different. Uh, it's much slower. This is almost like a conventional like 80s R&B song almost. And I thought that was an interesting choice to end the album off with a song that sounds like this. And it sounds nothing like anything on the album. It kind of reminds me of um something that you would have heard on Feel Like Making Love by Roberta Flack. Roberta Flack, if you've never heard that, go listen to Feel Like Making Love. That is one of my favorite albums of all time, bro. She got that Mr. Magic, Mr. Magic, Mr. Where have you come, Mr. Magic? You turned me off. Hey, that's that fire right there. If you've never heard that, it's one of the greatest albums of all time, bro. Feel like making love, bro. Miss Roberta did her thing on that. But this right here, he sounds like he's like inspired from that album just from like melodies that he's doing on here. It's like I said, it's much different from the rest of the album. It's not like some funky, experimental, psychedelic uh, slot junk no more. It's kind of like a con, con uh, I don't know, like a like a Peebo Bryson type thing, and it's 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 nice. It's a very very refreshing sound. Niggas, I said niggas ain't making music like this anymore either because the when I give you the world, when I give you the world, like low key uh, the. the like that that high-pitched little melody he was doing that reminded me of something you hear off that album and yeah man like i said he has i don't know if they're direct influences but they sound like you feel me sly on this album there's some prints on this album uh then you got the you know what i'm saying the mgmt type sound the roberta flack type sound he's doing a lot of different sounds on here and i feel like it all came together really good so hey uh I really enjoyed this album. I thought this album was really, really good. And um, yeah, man, shout out to Steve Lacey for for, for coming through with a, a nice little 10-track project, man. I appreciate that. So how'd you guys feel about it? Until next time, I share what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate. I, I play is gonna play, man. Y'all, I let you. Boy, no, man.